the smell of the grass, the roar of the crowd, high fives from the mascot, passion, pride, history, and culture. GAA is in our DNA. So to celebrate STEPS Engineers Week 2022, the Engineers Ireland STEPS program has teamed up with the Gaelic Players Association to launch a competition for primary and secondary students that challenges you to engineer the game of the future. And that's why we're here at Crow Park, the home of Gaelic games. Let's go inside to find out more. Hi everyone, I'm Tom and welcome to Crow Park. My name is Tom Parsons. I used to play for Mayo. I'm now the voice of Gaelic players in Ireland and I'm an engineer and I'm proud of being an engineer. Gaelic Players Association represents 4,000 male and female inter-county players in Ireland and a lot of our players are engineers. So the GPA focuses on player welfare, player well-being, player development and representation. And a big thing in the GPA that we take serious is the quality and sustainability of our games. The STEPS Engineers Week challenge is to design and engineer the games of the future. What will Gaelic games look like in 2050? Be creative, be innovative. Think about sustainability, think about diversity and inclusion, think about equipment, technology, virtual reality. Whatever you think the game will look like in the future, put it down on paper, design it and engineer it. We encourage all primary and secondary schools to enter. There's some fantastic prizes on offer, such as a day out in Crow Park, tickets for you and your family to go to a big game or a virtual meeting with a hero of your choice. We're really excited to see all your submissions for Engineers Week in 2022. Get brainstorming with your friends and we can't wait to see the results. Best of luck everyone, over to you Mark. Thanks Tom. <laughs> so there you have it. Your challenge is to engineer the Gaelic games of the future. Create ideas or innovations that show what the world of Gaelic games could look like in 2050. Engineering is at the forefront of advances in sport, whether it's equipment or technology that analyse our performance, helping us to train smarter and perform at the highest level, or designs that keep us safe and injury free, or building environmentally friendly stadiums and improving the fan experience with artificial intelligence, and designs that make sport accessible to all. We want to see what you come up with, so now is your chance, and here's how you enter. Watch this video. Step one, you've already done, you're flying. Then download and complete the challenge worksheet. The engineers are very creative, so let your imagination loose and get some ideas flowing. Include design drawings and think about what materials you'll use and the impact they'll have on the environment. Create designs that include everyone. And bonus points for photo and video content too. And then submit your worksheet and creative solutions to steps at engineersireland.ie or post it to this address. The challenge deadline is Friday the 25th of March. Entries will be judged by Engineers Ireland and players from the GPA. And there are some fantastic prizes to be won. So do your county and your country proud and get those entries in. We're all cheering you on. Hey everyone. I'm Mary Ryan, I play camogie for Tipperary and I play in the full back position. My favourite part of playing the sport is being involved with a team, being part of a team working towards a shared goal which is similar to what I do in my role as an engineer. Hey everyone, I'm Neil McManus, centre forward with the Antrim Senior Hurlers. I'm a manufacturing engineer uh, with Andor Technology in Belfast. Engineering is really important to Gaelic Games so that we can keep up to pace with the technological developments of the day. We see it in training and in our games and video analysis and sports technology that's been brought into our games. I would encourage all young people with an interest in sport and engineering to get involved and look at the possibilities available to them through any courses that are offered by their schools, apprenticeships offered by local communities or companies because it's such a rewarding career and something that can such a beneficial impact on your community and on this country. Just find out what it is you're passionate about, recognise that you can certainly balance the two of them. Part of my engineering role and my role um, as an athlete is finding that balance and, and enjoying the balance between the two. Best of luck everyone with the Steps Engineers Week Challenge. Uh, can't wait to see what you create. Best of luck to everyone in the competition. We really look forward to see the entries flying in and see what you're able to come up with. Good luck. And if now you'll all stand for the national anthem of 2050. Come on lads, 